Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna discuss part two of how to find the relevant text for design and how to rank on the first page on Redbubble. Are you ready? Let's go. So in this video, I'm gonna discuss what to do and what you shouldn't do while writing your text on Redbubble. Okay. So as you know from the first video, uh, we were discussing uh, shark, which was our main keywords. If you didn't see the first video, go back and watch it. Okay. So today I'm gonna teach you how to write the perfect text to be ranked on the first page on Redbubble. This design in front of you, I did on Canva.com, which is a very great website, which you can make a lot of designs in a very quick and easy way in a couple of minutes. If you want to know more about how I did that design, so stay tuned guys, I'm gonna upload a lot of videos about how to do perfect designs on Canva, okay? Okay, let's go back to our design. So first thing first, don't write any text that's not related to our design. If you look at my tags, there is nothing not related. Everything is related to my design. Second point, use from 15 plus relevant words to your design. So a lot of people say you just put 15 and also here if you see tags are how your audience find your work use 15 relevant tags per upload but the reality is you can just upload till 50 tags I don't recommend you to just put uh, 10 or 5 tags or 50 you can just be in between I like to be between 15 and 25 15 tags if I didn't find a lot of tags I go to 20 or 25 if I found relevant tags okay so all of my tags here are relevant to my design that's why I put them next point don't use so long sentences in your tags guys you don't want to look like spammy because I just think I saw a lot of people who put a lot of sentence and a lot of words together and that's that's very bad and that's very spammy to Redbubble and if Redbubble just catches them, they're gonna ban their account and we don't want to be like that it's enough one, two, three words and then comma and then go to the next tag, okay? next point don't use words which has a trademark you have always to check the trademark and the copyrights so I will put three trademark checker website down below in the description so check them guys because it's very important to check all of your copyrights and trademarks for all your designs. So please focus because the next three points are the main points for my video. First one, which is write your Redbubble shop name in the text so your customer may return back to buy your designs. As you see, my shop name is Artifice and I put my name here. So maybe the customer will tell anyone or his family or he will return back and put Artifice designs and he will find me, okay? Second, write your type, color, style of your design as a keyword. Like, for example, typography, pattern, retro vintage, blue, summer, cartoon. As you can see here, I want to describe everything in my design here in the text. Okay, so I converted everything, not only just the word, also the, the, the color, the way, the design, everything in my text, like blue shark. So I didn't just write shark. So in Redbubble, if you write blue alone and then shark alone, it's better to write blue shark because anyone search for blue, Redbubble will always make him find you. Everyone search for shark, you will be fine from these tags. So it's better to combine them together like blue shark. Ocean is related, okay? Fish, what else? Summer, because I think this is a summer for a summer t-shirt. It's very nice for a summer t-shirt, okay? What else? Cartoon, which is a kind of cartoon. You can see that. Uh, retro vintage. As you can see with uh, this background, it's it's called retro vintage. And for example, if you have a pattern of, or typography, so you can just put like that. Because some people just search about shark retro vintage and you don't want to miss them, right? Shark kids. That's normally a t-shirt for kids, so that's why I put shark kids. Banana shark, I just found that in the last video, which is um, always the, the shark is, looks like banana, you know, and I have just found that very nice and very funny because uh, there was a trending on banana shark. It was just like 200 uh, related searches and I can easily uh, rank on these trends. So once you watch your tags, you have also to check the trends because maybe there is a trend which is related to your tag. So you can just put it always. So you have a very high chance to be shown on the first 
page on Redbubble. And now we reach the last point, which is the most important point, which is the ninja tip, which I want to share with you guys that a lot of people don't realize that, but it's very important and can be, bring you a lot of sales. Okay, so let's go back to Redbubble search and for example we search for shark shark is a very very wide okay of course we can cross niche we can put shark with something else like shark lover fishing shark crafts tiger shark of course we can cross niche and make these results much much more lower so better uh, for the competition so what i want to share with you is not about that uh, it's about something else which is here guys the categories so if you can see, not always it's better to put a t-shirt as a default product, okay? For the competition, it's always better just to change that. What I mean about that, my designs, if you can see, it's about kids. So, I will just target kids in this design, okay? So, I will choose here, kids and babies clothing. I will not choose like wall art, stationery or clothing. I will just target kids. So, it's for 94,000. And if you if we press kids, we will find it's fifty four thousand only on shark, which is a very wide word. So what if we are we make a cross niche uh, like only twenty seven is nothing? We will find here and here and here lower and lower competition. I hope you got the point. So what about baby t-shirts? So we want to choose every one of that and find which one has the lower results and then put it at the default product so first we will choose kids and ma uh, kids mask so it's 43 nodes this one was 27 okay kids pullover let's check 18 okay that means that's better and better so maybe i will go for kids pullover since it's winter now kids t-shirt share kids 27 okay long sleeve let's see 27 so i will go even for kids pullover uh, or kids mask but it's more probably good to go for a mask right now or t-shirts let's see t-shirts again 27 no no i will go for t-shirts for bus but for babies which is very important guys okay you can just choose like that and of course you can go uh, on your design here if you don't know how to do to make that you can just scroll down and here you can see default product in your shop uh, normally, I everyone choose optimized, which is recommended by Redbubble, which you uh, just read Bubble like rec rec recommended that. But I recommend you if you find a very low competition in uh, a product, so just go for for maybe kids. You know, you can write kids, and you can choose kid mask, kids pullover. For example, I will choose kids clothes. And it will be shown only to kids clothes since my design is related to kids. And this is the ninja ninja tip, guys, because really that that has a lot of difference with me. And it's not always good, but sometime when you have a specific niche and has specific audience, like I think that's more for kids, you know. So someone who are searching for their kids, it's better they will find that in the kids uh, section or kids category. So I recommend you do like that. I hope you guys enjoyed my second video. Next video gonna be uh, more about designing, a lot of design on Canva and how to put your title and description also because we didn't speak about title and description and that's very important for the CEO and to be ranked also on Google, not only on Redbubble. We're gonna discuss about that later. But for now, I wanna thank you. Please uh, subscribe, like and comment down below if you have any question and see you in the next video.